Well, go on, traders. You are the traders here again. Yeah, so I decided to just make this video, um, seeing that it's coming down to the end of the year. So I'm going to make some bold predictions for Mullen for 2023. So um, stick around for um, that information. I'm going to do it um, closer on to the end of the video. But just want to get through a couple of stuff here with you guys first. Um, I was just looking back at some of the stocks that, you know, wasn't paying much attention to, but I actually had drawn some trend lines on them. Um, this is not Mullen, but just be with me a second. So the same trend lines that we have set up for Mullen, the same trend lines actually apply to other stocks. Okay. So for Mullen, we were looking at, I would say, a micro view at the four hour chart. Well, if we zoom out and we look at a more macro view at a higher level, we see exactly, you know, the highs and the lows of the chart of the chart itself. So I'm not saying that Mullen is going to get back up to $20 come to um, the start of the new year. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the chart gives you a, an indication of what's going to be happening. So let's take a look here. Just look at another quick couple of them. So if you look at Apple, I drew this chart way back. So each one of these lines here represents a year. Okay, so I drew this chart way back in terms of where I think Apple will be going. And look at that, it's following a trend. Pushes up, comes back down, close to the support, push back up to the top of the, the trend, comes back down. So, if we look at um, Tesla, give me a second here. The same, <clears throat> the same type of trend that we use at the micro level, we can use also use at the macro level. <clears throat> so, with Tesla, um, you know, I was in a conversation with my brother, and I actually bought some Tesla um, around here, this level. It pushed up, came back down, I, um, retested at this level, actually sold my Tesla then, or at least a major portion of it at that time. So I said, okay, if it's gonna follow the trend, let me draw the trend line and see what happens. So I drew the trend line at this level, and then a adjacent trend line, it's parallel to this trend line, at the bottom and look at what happened it follow the trend see i even mentioned to my brother i think i mentioned this in a previous video um that a um, couple weeks ago a couple months ago that um tesla will come down to 175 and if it breaks the 175 it's gonna drop to 125 and exactly that happened it didn't hold the support here didn't hold the diagonal support didn't hold the horizontal support at the, around 175. It broke through, came down, and it's now at the 124, or 125 thereabout. So I'm not saying Tesla is going to drop any further. I'm not saying that, but as I always said, you know, look and see what the chart is giving you because this is what investors look at to see, you know, where where do you enter, where do you exit. Where do you set your stop loss if in case, you know, you're in or where do you buy in case you're not in, you know. So it all depends on what your objective is. So I've said um, this before, um, apart from Mullen, um, drop it in the comments if you want me to actually look at any other stock. Um, I know everyone does not have... Um, these type of ch charts available. If you want me to look at another stock, I can I can do that for you guys. You know, the more information, the better. Because we're a family and we're working towards one common goal is to make sure we get on top of how to trade stocks properly. Okay, so let me switch back to Mullen. So going back to my prediction here, I'm gonna zoom back down to the, I think we're at the four hour. I've taken a screenshot of this page here. So this page represents um, the four hour and each of these dark areas rep represents a trading day. Okay, 
So if I zoom in further, as you can see, these are the trading trading days. This is aftermarket, that's pre-market. All right, so what I've done is actually grab a screenshot to say, okay, no, sorry, not that one. This, to say where I think the stock should be going come um, January 2023. So we have um, basically solidify the support. Remember, this was the old support. We kind of fell a little bit below the support. We came back up, retested the support. Now it's curling back up. So we can actually start drawing a trend line from the bottom of this support to the bottom of the higher low. Uh, I'm going to do it, actually do it in the chart itself, but I've done it um, kind of rough here so you can see what I'm talking about. So what I've done is draw a line in terms of the bottom trend line here to show where the new diagonal support is going to be. And what I did is actually take a like a parallel copy of that line. It's not all that accurate in you know my hand, <laughs> not all that accurate, a little bit shaky. But um, I'm drawing a parallel line of that trend line up here. So this is where I think the trend will be. And remember, as I said, each dark era here represents, represents a trading day. Between these dotted lines here, each of these represents a trading week. So I've also drawn um, a line that represents the end of each trading week. So this is the first week in January, second week in in January, third week in January, and this is about the around the twentieth of January thereabout. And remember, we were looking at the twentieth of, of January. We had options jumping up to like six to seven thousand um, open interest. So I'm thinking something very interesting is going to be happening by that time. But here's where I think this talk will be going. So if you'll bear with me, I'm going to try use my pen here. So the stock did what it's supposed to do it tested the resistance popped through the resistance so what we're looking for is for the stock to kind of go up test this resistance here may come back down a bit back to this support go back up may retest the resistance here or pop through or it could come back down but then we expect it to kind of pop through here could come back down and go back up but that's kind of um, this is after the 20th so let me clear that so let's redraw this Give me a sec. Don't know what's going on with my pen. It'll stop working. I'm just using my my mouse this time. So expecting it to go up, down, come back on the support here, which is the support which is the old resistance, which should become the new support. And chances are go back up to retest the top here by the 20th. So this is kind of my thought in terms of where I think the stock will be going. Um, I will draw it in our chart here. And I'm gonna actually leave it. And we're gonna watch and see what happens for the next couple of weeks. Let me clean this up a bit. Let me remove this. We already proven that once we break the diagonal resistance, the stock goes up. 
it did that here and it did that here so let me clean that up a bit and then I'm gonna just draw my new trend line because I could not draw this line before before I got three points to get the trend at top high and two bottom lows so this is would be my new trend line looks a little bit different from my join a little bit lower but this is what it is alright so this is my new trend line and I'm gonna leave this and we're gonna watch it over the next couple of weeks alright so as I said guys um, just wanna give you a quick little review of you know what I think will be happening uh, in terms of um, for the new year cause we you know we're expecting that the new year should be a lot better hopefully but you know as I've always said you know we work with whatever the stock gives us and you know it, depending on how, how the stock is moving then we, we move accordingly okay guys so all the best for the new year and this was a sec another quick one before the new year starts so peace and blessings